Hello, my name is Rachel. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys, a first grader and a pre k -er. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a review about this curriculum right here, the Masterbooks, Math Lessons for Living Education Level 2. Let's get into it. My name is Rachel. I am a speech language pathologist turned homeschool mom. Now, let's talk about this curriculum right here. These are gonna be my honest thoughts about this curriculum. Now, at the end of his my son's kindergarten year, he got to lesson 83. There are 180 lessons in this book. Now, lesson 83 ended on subtraction with borrowing from the tens place. Now that's a pretty heavy hitting lesson, subtraction with borrowing. So I knew that during the summer we had to continue on honing those skills or else he was not gonna learn that concept solidly. So I chose, at part of my summer plan was to do two to three lessons per week. We have made it to lesson 97 and we are just done with this curriculum and let me tell you my thoughts on why we are choosing to just it nix this curriculum and why this curriculum did not work for our family so the primary reason that we started this curriculum was because of the copy work now I started my son on level one in his kindergarten year and he flew through it he loved that curriculum there was lots of copy work the lessons were short, simple, and to the point. So this curriculum worked for us. It worked for our needs of my son's natural math skills, he, him getting to hone those, while at the same time really focusing on penmanship because his penmanship was the biggest uh, setback to being able to do harder math skills. Now that he has really honed in on his penmanship he is able to do those higher level math skills that i thought we would be learning in level two now level two it has a great scope of practice the scope of practice deals a lot with subtraction place value fractions writing numbers up to a thousand skip counting money concepts using dimes, nickels, introduction to measurement, introduction to perimeter, telling time to the minute, the lessons that I was most looking forward to teaching my son and my son was most looking forward to teaching or to learning were introducing addition with carrying to the tens place and also introducing subtraction with borrowing from the tens place. Those two concepts are huge. Those two concepts are fundamental in learning how to subtract large numbers and add large numbers. Let me tell you the flaw that I found in this curriculum and that was so frustrating for me and my son. So they introduced the concept of addition with carrying on day 76 and then from those five days from day 76 to day 80 you get lots of practice lots of practice that's great that's a huge concept that we just learned and then on day 81 guess what they introduce they introduce subtraction with borrowing from the tens place that is crazy to me that you would go from teaching this huge concept of addition with carrying and then go straight into subtraction with borrowing that confused my child so much. And every time that we had an addition problem, he would go, wait, I'm adding, does that mean I carry or borrow? Or vice versa, on the subtraction, he'd go, wait, I'm subtracting these two numbers. Mom, am I supposed to borrow or carry? I'm confused. And every time I would have to go back to that, that example and show him okay for for addition you carry and for subtraction you borrow and for days and days i would reintroduce that every time he would question that and 
That is a huge flaw in this curriculum. They should have done addition with carrying at, and then addition with borrowing very spread out in this curriculum. You have 36 weeks to teach those two concepts. One should have been taught at the beginning of this book and another in the middle. It was just bonkers to me that you would teach them back to back. That makes no sense and it made no sense for my child either. So every time I asked my little guy if he wanted to switch to his new curriculum, he'd be like, oh no mom, this curriculum's fine, we'll just keep working on it. But every time we did this curriculum during the summer months, he would get so frustrated and I saw that little frustration and I'm like trying to like give him like another option. And finally I asked him, what do you like about this curriculum? And he said, mom, I love the cover of the book so much. I want to keep that cover forever. He loves dogs. There's a dog on the cover. So I said to this sweet boy the other day, after we finished the lesson, what lesson did we get to? Lesson 97, because cause I'll show you. Lesson, lesson 96, I had to reteach him how to borrow. And then on lesson 97, I had to teach it, reteach him how to carry. And at that point, we got to lesson 97. I was done with this curriculum. I said to my son, we're not doing this anymore. We're switching to Singapore dimensions. We're done. So what else? I do not like about this curriculum is there are not enough examples. It does not spiral enough examples throughout the curriculum. This is marketed as this is a standalone curriculum. That's how it's marketed. It should not be marketed this way. This absolutely need you absolutely. If you have this book, you need for at least for us that supplemental workbook. But the thing is, as far as I can tell, it's not marketed that you need that supplemental workbook to go along with it. I didn't even know it had a supplemental workbook until, until a few months ago. So this on its own did not work out for us because it did not spiral enough. It did not have enough examples of problems and teaching addition with carrying and subtraction with borrowing back to back weeks. I just, I just have no other words other than no, no, no. Now, who might this curriculum work for? This curriculum may work for a second grader who can read independently, not the stories of Charlotte and Charlie, which I actually think are really cute and so does my son. We really like that that part of this curriculum, but this might work for a child who is a second grader who can read the problems independently and is a very motivated learner to independently learn and checks in with their teacher parent as necessary and knows when to ask for help. Now that is not my child at all. My child is a, not an independent reader. He's a, he's going into the first grade and we, we, he flew through the level one. So I thought it would be a natural continuation to go on to level two. I don't think it is. I do not, I do not think it worked out for us. Now, one thing that I heard, I'm a new homeschooler. And one thing I heard from veteran homeschoolers, which I now do not agree with, is that you should stick with a math curriculum for at least two levels. That way you don't have any gaps. I don't agree with that. I think I should have finished level one and not done level two of this and gone straight to Singapore, which is what I'm gonna be doing. And my little guy is already starting and loves it so much more than this. I think it fits his how his brain works so much better with those number bonds. He understands it a lot more. So those are my thoughts on this curriculum. I am not a fan of this curriculum. I'm not a fan of this, specifically this level. Level one worked for us. It, what, it was not 
exemplary at all, it worked for us. This did not work for us. We will not be using this curriculum in the future. It's just not enough examples, not enough, not enough spiraling, not enough review problems. Oh. Yeah, not a fan. I know this is raw and negative and I don't like being negative, but that's, that's what this is. <laughs> that's what it is. So on that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've used this curriculum. Let me know if it worked for you. I would love to hear a positive story about using this level and a good response. But yeah, if if you had a negative response like I did, please, 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 please share your thoughts in the comments below. Wherever you are, I hope you are having a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Show the camera. Yeah. Show the camera. It's a seed. Plant the nice seed. Nice job. Plant yeah, you can, it. yeah, you can plant the seed. Go outside. I'm gonna finish well, up this video. I, I wonder what it will grow. Yeah, I wonder too. Love you boys. Yeah, but plant it. Yeah. yeah.